Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Rise and Shine Yoga. I'm Paul, the owner of the Oxford Yoga Studio in downtown Oxford. We're going to do this episode inside this week. The last couple of weeks we've been outside enjoying the beautiful summer weather. But we're just changing it up a little bit. And with that being said, we're also going to change up our uh, class this morning. We're going to do um, what I call old-fashioned Ashtanga. For those of you that are new to it, it's really an old kind of style of Ashtanga. It's a series of the same poses over and over again. Um, we're not going to do the whole series. I'm just going to take bits and pieces of it. Uh, for those of you that have done Ashtanga in the past, hopefully you will remember some of these poses. Uh, what makes Ashtanga a little bit different than the classes we usually do is that we don't sit and set an intention and start with a yogic breath. We kind of settle into our mat. With Ashtanga, we just kind of jump right in, get into the poses, and go from there. Uh, in traditional Ashtanga, there's no music. There's really very little communication with the teacher. The communication with the teacher is basically inhale, exhale, and that's really all you're going to hear from the instructor. Um, today, we're going to do a little more of that. I'm actually going to talk through a lot of the poses, but it just gives you a little bit of a background for what Ashtanga is. With Ashtanga, we start in our standing poses. Uh, we start with Sun Salutation A. We're only going to do a few of them. And as always with our standing poses, we're standing with our, heat, our feet about hip distance apart. We're standing up tall. All the muscles are engaged. And I like to start with our, my hands at, and palms together at the heart. And so let's begin our Ashtanga series. We're going to inhale the arms up, really reach the arms, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees. Step back to the top of a push-up, keeping the elbows in tight, lower all the way down. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest, up dog. And then exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips, down dog. And we're going to stay here with all these Shtanga poses for about five breaths. So this may be your first down dog. So bicycle your feet. Strong hands into the mat, gaze back between your legs. Letting the head relax. Then of your next exhale, look between the hands, bend the knees, walk to the front of the mat. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. And then inhale, reach and rise the arms up. Exhale, palms together, center of the heart. I should mention that also with traditional Ashtanga, we don't go into the whole child's pose thing. Um, but like I always say, if your body needs to take child's pose, take it. Please take it. So we're going to continue with our sun salutation A's. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees. Step back to the top of the push-up. Exhale, lower all the way down, keeping the elbows in tight. Inhale, straighten the arms. Lift the chest up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes. Lift the hips down dog. And again, we're going to stay here for about five breaths, which is about 30 seconds. So we're in these poses for a little bit longer than you may be used to. Then of your next exhale, look between the hands, bend the knees, walk, step to the front of the mat, inhale, look up halfway, exhale, fold forward, inhale, reach and rise to standing, really reach those arms up, exhale, palm together, center of the heart, Samus TT. Continuing with our standing poses, I want you to inhale the arms up, exhale, fold forward. And this time, take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toe. Inhale, come up halfway. 
and then exhale, bring yourself deeper into the pose. Your legs can be straight, or you can have a little bend in your knees. Your gaze is back toward the back of your mat between your legs. If you'd like a little more, just bring your elbows out to the side. And of course, breathe. Now release the bind of your big toe. Lift up all 10 toes and take your hands and slide them underneath your hands. Ideally, your toes will come to your wrist. Inhale, look up halfway, and then exhale, fold forward. Again, your knees can be bent or straight. Gaze back between your legs, elbows out. Pulled out if you want a little bit more into the pose. Lift up your toes. Inhale, slowly come back up to standing. Really reach and rise the arms up. Exhale, palms together, center of the heart. Now we're gonna do one more pose before we end this segment. And I'm gonna be facing you, so I want you to bring your left leg back straight. I want you to have your right foot pointed toward the front of the mat. Your arms out to a T. We're gonna do extended triangle. We're gonna inhale, really reach the right arm up, then bring it down to the ground or to the shin, and then we're gonna spin our left arm open to the left to the sky. This is an extended triangle. I'll look down at your mat, slowly come back up to a T. Step your left foot to meet your right at the front of the mat or, how, or however positioned you were. Bring your palms together at the center of the heart. This ends our first segment of Ashtanga. In the next, episode, or the next segment of our practice this morning, we're going to continue with the standing poses and then transition into the final segment of seated poses. So take a quick breath, maybe get a drink of water and I'll see you back in a few seconds. County Sheriff Mike Bouchard and former Red Wing great Joey Koser reminding you to follow the rules regarding boater safety. Always operate at safe speeds, avoid alcohol, and wear a life jacket. Don't let a great day on the water be ruined by bad decisions. Discover the wonderful surprises of local shopping. Watch Let's Take a Walk with Susan Bork or Andy Curtis weekdays at 10.30 and 6.30. Keeping it local.
Welcome back. Continuing with our Stanga practice this morning, I want you to really have a wide stance <clears throat> with your feet. So really bring them out wide. They'll probably go off the mat. Bring your arms out to a T. Ideally, or eventually, you're in this pose, your ankles will be right underneath your wrists. Sometimes we underestimate how far we can spread our legs wide. So I want you to inhale. Exhale your hands to the waist. Inhale a little back bend. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips, and bring your hands directly underneath your shoulders onto the mat. If your hands don't make it to the floor, maybe to a block or to your fingertips, or if that is still not working, maybe bring your hands to the shin. Your gaze back between your legs toward the back of the mat. Core engaged. <clears throat> All our muscles engaged. Strong breath. Bring your hands to the waist and slowly and I mean very, very, very slowly. Come back up to standing, arms out to a T. The reason I have you come up to standing slowly is so you don't get dizzy as you come up. So inhale, arms out to a T. Exhale, the hands to the waist. And keeping the hands on the waist, inhale a little back bend. Exhale, fold forward. And try to have your elbows come together, your shoulder blades come together. That helps you get deeper into the pose. Gaze back between your legs. Legs can be straight or have a little bend in the knees. Strong breath. All the muscles engaged. Inhale, slowly come back up, arms out to a T. Inhale, exhale the hands to the waist. And this time, and I'm going to turn my back to you, you don't have to do that, but just you're going to interlace your fingers behind your back like so. Then you're going to inhale a little back bend, exhale, fold forward. Your hands can stay on your lower back, or if that feels good, just bring them off your back. Again, you want to bring your elbows, your shoulder blades together, your gaze back between your legs toward the back of the mat. Strong breath. Bring your hands to the waist. Slowly make your way back up to standing. Inhale, arms out to a T. <clears throat> Exhale, the hands to the waist. Inhale, little back bend. Exhale, fold forward. This time, take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toe. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Legs can be bent or straight. You want a little more, bring your elbows out to the side, gaze back between your legs. Release your bind on your big toe. Bring the hands to the waist. Slowly come back up to standing. Arms out to a T. And then step both feet together at the front of the mat. Palms together, center of the heart. Continuing with our standing poses. I want your feet hip distance apart. We're going to inhale the arms up. 
So this time I want you to step your left foot back and I want you to put a little bit of a bend in your, a lunge in your right knee, making sure your knee is over your ankle, not over your toes. Arms are straight and strong. Your hips should be square to the front of your mat into warrior one. I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit. Gaze eventually will go up to the ceiling. Everything's engaged. And the secret here, for all the yoga poses, the more all of your muscles are engaged, actually the easier the poses. I know that may not sound right to those of you that are new, but really, the more you do yoga, if you can keep all the muscles engaged, like here, the feet really into the mat, it makes the pose a lot easier. Now keeping the arm strong, I want you to straighten your right leg. We're gonna do this, but we're gonna to pivot to the back of the mat, so you're gonna see my back. This time you're lunging in your left knee, having the knee over the ankle, hips square to the back of the mat, arm strong. Now bring the palms together at the center of the heart, and you may have to adjust a little bit. We're gonna bring our arms out to a T, still keeping that lunge in the left knee. Gaze is over your left fingers. Now we're gonna straighten the left knee, and we're gonna keep everything like it is. Pivot to the front of the mat. This time we're gonna have the lunge in the right leg, and this time we're gazing over our right fingertips. Straighten your right leg. Step your left foot to meet the right at the front of the mat. Bring your palms together, the center of the heart. As we finish this next segment, in our last segment, we're gonna start in standing and then finish in our traditional uh, seated poses. So take a quick breath, get something to drink, maybe towel yourself off, and we will meet back here for our final segment of Rise and Shine Yoga. Get that moment. That changed my life. At that moment, it hit me. This is why I joined the Guard. We're soldiers, always ready to protect our country. But we've also got communities. Family, friends, neighbors who count on us. I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life. Somebody from my hometown. See what it means to be a citizen soldier at NationalGuard.com. For Friday night fish at the Oxford American Legion Hall. It's delicious. We love the Legion. They have great fish and good family fun. American Legion fish fry. It's awesome. And the drinks are good. The food is good. The service is awesome.
Watch Elton Nichols and Terry Styles on OCTV News at 6 and 11, keeping it local. Welcome back to the final segment of Rise and Shine Yoga. We're going to transition for, from our standard pose into our seated poses. So for this one, we're going to do Ukatasana, our chair pose, which I think you guys should be familiar with by now. Bring your feet closer together. They don't have to be touching. Some people do. It's up to you. We're going to inhale the arms up and then sit down into a chair, making sure our knees are over our ankles, not our toes. Gaze eventually will be up to the ceiling or the sky. Core engaged, everything strong. Every inhale and exhale, see if you can get a little bit lower, making sure that the knees stay over the ankle. Now we're going to exhale, fold forward over straight legs. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees. Step back, top of a push up. Lower all the way down to the ground. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest. Exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips into down dog. Look between the hands, bend the knees, step the feet through, and then make your way to a seated position onto the mat. So with our seated poses in Ashtanga, we start with Staff pose or Dandasana. So legs are straight in front of you. Toes are pulled back. Your hands are right by your hips. Your gaze is neutral. You're sitting up strong. You can have your eyes open or closed. And as always, having a good breath. Now we're going to inhale the arms up, and then exhale, fold forward, and see if you can take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toe, inhale, come up halfway, and exhale, fold forward. Now in this pose called Paschimottasana, or Western stretch, we want to make sure that our back is flat. So we don't want to round our back, we want it flat. And try to picture your heart is coming towards your foot, not your knee. So we don't want to round it back. Release your bind. Come back up to seated. Now since I said this is traditional stanga, we're going to take a vinyasa between each of these seated poses. So we're going to inhale, cross our ankles and lift up. We're going to exhale, roll forward into the top of a push-up, lower all the way down, inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest, exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips, look between the hands, come back to a seated position in the front of the mat. And I think I said before in some of these uh, episodes that that vinyasa is optional, not today, not this morning, so you may be getting you a good workout. So the next one we're going to do is called Purvottanasana, a reverse table. So I want you to bend your knees and put the soles of your feet flat on the mat. Take your hands, bring them behind your hips. This is also called reverse table. And what we're going to do, we're going to inhale and just lift up the hips. Key here is to have your hips up. You don't want them sagging. That puts way too much pressure on the back. Now release the hips all the way to the ground. We're going to take our vinyasa, so we're going to inhale, cross our ankles, sit back, exhale, roll forward into the top of a push-up, lower all the way to the bottom, inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest, exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips down dog, look between the hands, step the feet forward, make your way into a seated position. Have your legs straight in front of you. 
want you to inhale your right knee up. And we're going to take the sole of our right foot, bring it on the inside of the left thigh. So you're going to have to twist your torso so it faces your left foot. The toes of your left foot are pulled back. We're going to inhale the arms up, exhale, reach forward, and you can take a bind either around your foot, on your toes, on your shin, but again, we want a flat back, so we don't want to be rounding the back, we want a flat back. And of course, strong breath. Release your bind, slowly come back up to seated. Inhale the right knee up, extend it in front of you. We're going to take our vinyasa. Inhale, sit back, cross the ankles. Exhale, fold forward, step back to the top of a push up, lower all the way down. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest up, dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips down, dog. Look between the hands, bend the knees, step through into a seated position. You can do the other side. Inhale the left knee up. Place the sole of the left foot inside of the right thigh. Turn the torso to the right foot. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, take a bind. Release your bind, come back up to seated, inhale the left knee up, extend the left leg forward, inhale, sit back, cross the ankles, roll forward, step back to the top of a push-up, lower all the way down, inhale, lift the arms, straighten the arms, lift the chest, exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips, look between the hands, come to a seated position. And we're going to finish with a yoga mudra. So take the index finger and your thumb, bring them together, come into a seated position, cross your legs, bring these, the back of your hand on your knee, close your eyes. This yoga mudra seals in the benefits of the practice that you've done this morning. Let the breath go. Take in all the benefit. We're sealing in all the good energy that you did this morning on your mat. Open your eyes, bring your palms together, center of the heart. Thanks again for letting me lead you in your practice. And this is Paul from Rise and Shine Yoga, and we'll see you next week. Namaste. watching Oxford Community Television, keeping it local.